Alright, um, have you ever wondered how old the earth is? I mean, many Bibles say it's 4,000 years old. I mean, they say that God created, but due to science, it's around 4.6 billion years old. Um, volcanoes are a really important part of geology about this earth. And um, have you all heard of Yellowstone Park, right? It's an ancient volcano, super volcano, which is thousands of meters wide, like the biggest volcano in, on the world. And um, I'm very credible in this uh, field because I'm taking Earth Science 1, and my professor uh, pretty much emphasized how important uh, geology is to this world. And today I'm going to talk about uh, the basics of geology, the modern, uh, the father of modern geology, and his impact uh, that he still has today. Um, geology is very important because it shaped the Earth uh, in, the, in our world. It's very complex, it's like a human being. Everyone is different, and the Earth is very different too. Um, according to my Jolly textbook by Edward Turpik and Frederick Lutchens, it states that the nature of the earth has been a focus of a study for centuries in writing from the Greeks from 2,300 years ago. Um, volcanoes, when they, they erupt every thousands and millions of years. They don't erupt uh, that often. Um, but 90% of that magma, uh, that lava, is 90% basaltic rock, and the other 10% is every other type of rock that's out there. Um, a hypothesis is just a lot of ideas. It's not uh, scientific proven yet, um, and then a theory is of all, uh, are a lot of ideas that are scientifically proven. So there was an idea called continental drift. Uh, this was that plate tectonics and uh, oceanic plates moved and caused earthquakes and caused tsunamis and stuff like that. But it wasn't until 50 years later that there was enough evidence to make that into a theory, and that theory is called the theory of plate tectonics. And it pretty much just states that because of the movements of the plates, it caused earthquakes and uh, tsunamis. Um, going to my next uh, topic, there are many geologists out there, but there's only one that is named the father of modern geology. His name is James Hutton. Uh, he was born on June 3rd, 1726. He was born in uh, Scotland, United Kingdom. He lived with his mother and sister, and his brother, older brother and father died when he was at a very young age, like four or five years old. Um, in 1744, he went to a university as, as a student interested in law. Um, he ended up graduating with a medical degree, so his name go with it, right? And then in 1752, he decided to be a farmer. Uh, he studied for two years. He tried to study uh, new agriculture, agriculture methods. Um, later, he became a Scottish geologist, a naturalist, a chemist, and he made up one of the most uh, important fundamentals of geology called uh, uniformitarianism, which is just the Earth's crust and its features over a geologic time. Um, in 1785, he wrote a book called The Theory of the Earth. It was just his ideas, but he believed in, in so much he called it himself a theory. But not everyone thought it was a theory yet because there was no uh, scientific uh, proof. According to James Jones, he states that Hutton first was the first to connect that sediments caused from erosion and uplift create a new land. Um, and that the earth would recycle itself. Uh, they, he didn't find out when it started to recycle itself, but ever since the Earth was created, the Earth would just recycle itself over and over and over again. And his famous quote from his book, he says, we find no vestige of a beginning and no prospect of an end. So this world would always continue recycling itself. And um, in 1791, he came down with an illness uh, that he called suppression of urine, which is just kidney stones. Uh, for four years, he was bedbound. He couldn't continue with his adventurous life. So sadly, on March 26, 1797, he died in his home. Um, he might have died that day, but his ideas did not. Um, his book was studied, but not accepted until 50 years later. Uh, his theory was rejected by the Society of Geologists because they said that he was atheist because he went against religion and pretty much kicked him out of the society. But he did not give up there. But sadly, when he died, he couldn't continue. But his friend, uh, James Hall, verified all his um, ideas and scientifically proved them, and they became a theory. Um, and now his theory is used from the next generation of geologists, and it's used even today. Um, he made uh, that book, right, but it was very hard to understand. A lot of people could not understand what he did or what he said. So his close friend, John Playfair, in 1806, made uh, a revised edition for people like us could understand called the Illustrations of the Huntingtonian Theory of the Earth. Um, 
Geology is a very diverse uh, subject and has been around 2,300 years, and his theories have only been around 200 years, but it's still counting. Like, they're always going to be around, so it's infinite. Um, and this is why we call him the modern, uh, father of modern geology. Um, <laughs> the Earth is our only home. We got to keep learning about it and how to save it. So if it wasn't for people like James Hunt, we wouldn't know all these ideas. And there's more people out there. But we got to continue searching for more. Thank you.